That drive is. See, you don't even. No, there it is. There I right didn't is. ask for directions, fool. No, but it's. <laughs> how else is you going to get the? How yeah, long you got to give you the drive? It, yes. Four it? hours and forty-eight minutes, and with the directions. Okay, I'm not driving. Now. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do you need to? This I'm gonna be in the limo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Four hours, Joe. Uh, okay. Five, there's another five hour and 30. If you yeah. leave right now, it's five hours what, and 39 minutes. Uh, what we want to do, um, again, being at CES, we want to uh, show a lot of the products that are here and some of the really cool things. We got, we got something here. We have something here right on the set. Really? And yeah, you know, we needed some place for Underdog, our stat man, to hang out. And there is Underdog inside the HealthMate sauna. Wow. Wow. What does it do? It's a sauna. It's no, a sauna. But no. It, no, it does more Chuck, than a sauna. It does more. There's infrared. There's different. See? Thank you. Really? HealthMate yeah. is the original company that invented the infrared sauna. Athletes and regular people commonly use infrared technology to assist in faster recovery and reduce pain know. and inflammation. Wow. Right. Hey, Chuck. And it's made of western red cedar. I, why would you be in there in western jeans west? and a, and a shirt, yeah. though? Oh, underdog wants to speak. Well, Vegas will take it out of you, so I'm just recovering it here during the show. Got it. But why are you recovering with fully dressed? Yeah, First of all, we don't, we, don't, we don't want America to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to see Underdog naked. Okay. Is, it, uh, is it turned on in there, uh, Underdog, or are you just doing this for show? Uh, it's, it's pretty hot, but it's all right. Ernie, what's that thing right there? Oh, oh I guess oh, apparently, we'll get, apparently, get to apparently we're going to get to that later. Okay. I don't know. Okay, there's something else. That's, that's been brought out here, DNA testing for the four DNA, oh, DNA I testing. did that. Yeah. I well, did a DNA test. Well, you're test. fixing to do it again. I did one. All right. And Chuck, I, know, I know my heritage. Chuckster. I just did it. Wait, Jet. what, what, I, what I Are we going to know by the end of the show? Yeah, as a matter of fact. I'm going to tell uh, you what I am now, and well, I'm going to see if it's oh, accurate. Oh, oh, we will, but this, okay. is from, this is from Origin, okay. and it helps, under, helps people understand the links between their genes and how their minds and bodies work. Okay. Okay, so you get... Helps you learn about the genes that make you unique. Helps you understand the links between genes. Oh, it is an ancestry. Behavior. This is not ancestry. Okay. Well, my ancestry, uh, I did find out. Did you really? Yes. I'm 45.6 percent Nigerian. Uh huh. I'm 26 uh, percent Sierra Leone, which uh -huh. is basically the Sierra same area. Leonean. Uh, you're Leonean. Yes. And I'm whatever percent is left is idiot. I'm 3.3 <laughs> percent Eastern European, and I'm allergic to Charles Barkley. <laughs> I did find that out. So we're, we're going to do this one, but there's another one. So I'm Before African you do that, Chuck, here's something you can do later. This is a metabolism DNA test. <laughs> yeah, what was it? <laughs> we a, know what's inside here's, Chuck. Here's a Burgers, fries, here's a, here's chicken, a, chicken, For Kenny, the, Coke. the joint care okay. DNA test. All right. Shaq, you've got the superhero DNA test. Oh, thank you. And I've got the fitness DNA test. Why do you get a fitness? I have no idea. This is what they just gave us. So we're supposed to uh, put this in there and swab your swab the inside of your mouth. Am I sure I'm going to be swabbing? Who know? Did right anybody now? use this prior? Yeah. We make sure. Jack used, used yours. Prior. There we go. Swabbing after somebody else swab. This is very interesting. So just like this. Wait, how do you Alright. Chuck, and you're not brushing your teeth. Put it back in here, and here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have it tested and then hey, hey, I don't it, want... you'll see at the end of the night. Don't get these confused. No, 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 just pull it. <laughs> just pull it, fool. Oh my god. I have I have a lotion on my hands. I don't have to touch it. See, yeah, already. <laughs> okay. So at the end of the night, that's when it will be revealed exactly what these DNA tests. This is, anybody else finding this absolutely fascinating? Me either. All right, uh, we're going to take, we're going to take a break here at CES. Hey, and, uh, I'm hey. tell Chuck They're gonna know if you did to ask crime. Siri who the college football oh. national champs are. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Ernie. It was, uh, Why do you still have the beard? Yeah, no, shave, well, Ernie. Here's, here's, the, shave well, here's the deal. I, and again. Congratulations, Alabama. Beat my Georgia Bulldogs for the championship. Yeah, uh, you know, it hurts. Great. Ernie, y'all had a great year. Congratulations yes, to did. those damn good dogs at UGA in, in Athens, GA. And by the, by the way, uh, Ernie Johnson, University of Georgia, class of 78. And, and, and so I didn't shave it yet, Kenny. I didn't shave it yet and I, because um, I was, I was going to ask you, too, should I keep it or should I shave it? 
Um, I actually, that's amazing. 3,836 idiots actually I voted think you, on this. I think you 68% want me to keep it. So I, you're going to keep it or not? I think you should make it thicker. Then. Keep it or no. shave it, y'all? Thicker. If I, okay, here, if well, I, I, yeah, okay. keep it, cheer if you want me to keep it. Keep it! Lose it! And it lose it? Lose it! Yeah. Well, oh, it sounds like a keeper. Speaking of, no, I just want to turn it. It's what they're really saying. They want to see, the they want to see less of your face as possible. <laughs> That's what they're trying to this say. This is possible. To you. Well, I'm going to keep it. Everyone wants to have that first hand experience. Everyone wants to feel like an athlete. And what better way to do it than put cameras in the locker room, than to follow these athletes, than to, you know, put a camera on these athletes and see what they see. And I think it's, I think it's cool. I think if VR can get to the point where you can sit at home and be behind the lens of an Eli Manning or a Tom Brady from your couch and see what they see, it'll be next level. And that's truly the thing, Victor, when we talk about the way we all grew up watching sports and we see the way it's presented now and all the different platforms and the ways you can watch games it, it makes you say boy five years from now how are we going to be consuming all this sports out here it's pretty amazing stuff and from an athlete's standpoint from your standpoint um how do you view that um i, I think it's amazing i think it's obviously different than the traditional ways that we've watched it and it's time you know with the, with the way technology is turning it's time to turn the page and find new ways to watch games, find different avenues and different ways to watch these games. And I think VR is at the forefront of that. Virtual reality is at the, is at the forefront of that. And um, being able to, like I said, be at home and feel like you're at the game or feel like you're in the locker room after a win, the fans want to see that. They want to be a part of that. They want to understand what that feels like or what that looks like aside from just a short clip from a, you know, from a sports channel. You know, it's just amazing to me that you know, especially for us growing up, remember how we used to try to rush home to, to you know, get to see our favorite game? Now you can just click on your iPad. You wherever know, you phone, are. Wherever you are, you can watch whatever you live stream, whatever you want. Very amazing. Yeah, I think the consumption of in, inf, information and is better. However, it's also smaller because they're consuming it, and the consumers are consuming it in shorter spaces. So sometimes... And what we're seeing a lot now, especially I'm seeing in basketball, is the understanding of how that happened and why teams win. So sometimes those short 15 second, 30 second clips do not show what really happened in the basketball game or the football game or whatever, and even in life. And so I think the consumption of the microwave, you know, there is something about baking that tastes a little better sometimes too. I will tell you this, Ernie, you know, I'm not a big technology guy, but I think technology has really helped me a lot as I start getting ready for March Madness uh, because there's no way we can watch 100 teams play. Like, I've watched every NBA team probably play a minimum of five or six times so you know how good they're going to be, their ceiling and things like that. But now I just started this week getting ready for March Madness, and the technology, I will admit, trying to find out about Davidson, uh, somebody like that. I mean, because I'm not going to, they're not going to show Davidson, no disrespect to Davidson, but they're not going to show them on television. But starting my prep for March Madness, it, it has been very helpful to me. Hey, Victor, we talk about um, the way athletes have become more accessible to their fans. Uh, and you've seen that in the course of your career, how, how especially in something like Twitter, uh, fans feel like they know you here. What's the next step? Are we ever going to see somebody allowed to tweet during a game? Would you, if you're on the sidelines, mm -hmm. would you ever want to do that? Um, probably not, because it, it would probably take away from the focus of the actual game. How about and, somebody who's and not active that day, okay. but is on the bench? You better not be tweeting nothing now if he's not active. <laughs> you need to worry about how he's going to get on that field, not, not be inactive. But I think a lot of times if, if guys were able to tweet or have their social media during games, it'll be a lot, it'll, it'll be emotional. It'll be emotional tweets. It'll probably be, you know, dang, I should have caught that or I wish I didn't drop that. Or just negative um, mostly. Or it could be, man, I just caught a great touchdown. Can't yeah, wait would, for you guys to see not, it. it could would be fans both. not enjoy that? Or it could well, be both. It's, it, it's sensationalism to, to the exactly. max because the way you feel in the moment isn't actually what's going on all the time. And so because I get in a tussle with Victor, I might feel a way about him in that moment, 
But that's not really how I feel about him because I might know him or I know how his, the competitive, competitive nature is. So, yes, if you want sensationalism, it will be fun to see people yeah, tweet but, in the middle of a game. But, but if you want realism, <laughs> that's not real life. But well, they've tried it in the Pro Bowl, I feel like, last year. They let mm -hmm. them tweet and they let them take Instagram photos and things like that. And the Pro Bowl is different because it's just fun. Guys are out there having a good time. But, but it's a very slippery slope, Ernie, because obviously, you know, I'm anti-social media. I know that. But you got to understand, uh, you think about this, though. Somebody's going to say something to you in the heat of, of a game. That, and the bad thing about being famous or in the limelight, people can say whatever they want to say to you, but when you respond to them, that's what becomes the news. That's the, diff the dangers about why I do no social media, because these people feel like they can say anything to you. And if you say something to them, it becomes worldwide in a minute. And yeah. that's not fair. You can catch uh, Victor Cruz on the undefeated. And, um, I mean, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you at this point, being a Super Bowl champion, who was going to win the Super Bowl this year? <laughs> First of all, he can't pick certain teams, Ernie. Why? Why? He can't get up here and pick the New England Patriots. They'll kill him back in New York. <laughs> This is true. Although I am picking the New England Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's all good. But we beat them twice in the Super Bowl, so I don't. That that's the win I'm worried about right there. Uh, Charles Barkley taking a DNA test <laughs> to see how his mind works. It's gonna come back negative. You know what? I'm not even gonna let him you say anything about his mama because that has to be yeah. funny. That was a good Kelly, one, Kelly. <laughs> that was funny, Kelly. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. Mark of the Martini. <laughs> Begins Friday, January 12th at 10 o'clock in the morning on Twitch. And they had a little uh, E League action going on here. The E League yeah. Major CSGO begins yes, Friday, January 12th. This young lady right here. Morning, Natalie, Twitch. WWE Diva. And they I had a lot of E League action going on here. Was ready. Yeah. Don't, don't mention the tournament. Yes, 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 I couldn't even punch this young lady. You and Jimmy Rollins playing together. Natalie, WWE Diva. I beat her last year. It was me against her. She came back and she was ready. And then Baron played her up the tournament yesterday. I couldn't even get a punch on You and Jimmy Rollins playing together? This year I was good. This year I was it was no, no, it was the way it her first, and then she played up, and then Baron played her in the final. Street Fighter, you remember Street Fighter on it? Last year I was good. Remember that game in the 70s? Yeah, that's a good way to put it, Street Fighter. I'll make sure I do it when I get home. What was the game you were playing? It's a game already. Street Fighter, you remember Street Fighter on it? Uh, in London. Game? You in know what 70s? that is right there? SLC. That's a shack like yeah, clock. Big Ben. Nice. Oh, oh, good one. Uh, oh, there right. was a game over here. Right. Right. Uh, like uh, Kyrie Irving in the London. Celtics. Joe you know what that is right there? And the SLC. That's a shack like clock. And Big Ben. JJ nice. Redding. Oh, oh, who oh, was oh, feeling oh, it early. Thank you. Yes. Kyrie Irving in the Celtics. Joe Ellen in the middle of the season. And the Philadelphia 76ers. And it was JJ Redding. Saw Redding for three. And then you'll find Redding there for three. Yes. Again, this is the first time in the first team quarter, 18 in the half. London in the middle of the season? No, no. no. Philadelphia had no. And I Simmons. Yeah. Philadelphia saw Redding for three, and then you'll find Redding right there for a three again. A 22 point lead. 13 in the first quarter, 18 in the half. 49, 27 right there. Just and, and how did the you get blown and out of the second half? Well, Philadelphia had a 15, 22, 23 point lead. But in a 22 point lead, as a matter of fact, 49, 27 right there. And how did the world get blown out of the second half? 57, 48 Well, a 15 to 3 lead in the third quarter. That is, of course, Philly. That is the Jalen. Oh, wow. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It was 57 48 to half. Wow. And then in the third quarter, Boston outscores Philly 37 to 22. Wow. Oh, I love that kid. Very big. Here's Jason Flat out Tatum. Play. And then Jalen Brown. Oh, I love that kid. And he won. Jalen Brown can play too. He can flat out play. So a 37 22 third, it was 85 79 to 1. Jalen Brown very just a quarter to my seven. So a 37 42 third, it was 85 79 to 1. Get on the floor. Very just a quarter to my seven to six. No, they should, they should be better, Kenny. No, I'm saying on as the floor. season's been going. They're young, they're young. They're young. No, man, no, they should be better. I need to be better, Kenny. They should, no, should make the playoffs, the man. Going, they're young, Jeff. They're, they're young. No, they're only man, one they should spot be better. I need to be better. They should make the playoffs, man.
And then definitely should be the only one spot out of there. They, they, they really should be in the playoffs, playoffs already, Scott. And, and then, then definitely should be under five minutes to play, and this happens. But they should be uh, in the playoffs already, by Simmons. Oh, under five minutes to play, and this happens. I don't think he wants to be knocked down by Simmons. Oh. Way to run through the paint, Ben. I don't think you want none of that. Yeah, that was about the extent of those fire ones. Yeah, yeah. You better leave the Mars boys alone. Man, that was about the extent of those fire ones. Yeah, yeah. You better leave the Mars boys alone. Are they on the list? Stay on the list. He beat a dude up because his mom had a baby. Are they on the list? Are they on the list? That dude is on the list. Florida, James Johnson, Mars boys, they on the list. Simmons, let me tell you something. That dude down in Florida, James Johnson, he's on the list too. Simmons, second longest winning streak of the season for the Celtics, seven in a row. Sixers have their four game winning streak. Second longest winning streak of the season. The number one, the Celtics, seven in a row. The Sixers have their four game winning streak. By the Celtics, and the number one rebounding to thirty seven. You know our buddy uh, Taz Malibu from the uh, Starters is over there and filed this to 37. You know our buddy uh, Taz Malibu from the uh, Starters is over there and filed this. The Celtics won, but I'm the real winner. Cheers. The Celtics won, but I'm the real winner. Cheers. As well as sleep. Why don't we get far from the NBA on TNT? I don't know that's illegal to show someone drinking. As well as sleep. I don't think. Why don't we get far from the NBA on TNT? Why don't we get far from the NBA on TNT? Why don't we get far from the NBA on TNT? I don't think it is. We're, we're in Vegas. Vegas. We're doing our show. Why don't we get past our weeds like that? We're in Vegas. Yeah. Go we're we're, we're in Vegas. We're doing our show. We're in Vegas. 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 <laughs> Just use my name, Chuck. Okay. You give me some money tonight, Shaq. I yeah. got you. Got me. I got you. Give me a hundred thousand. <laughs> Easy. Uh, okay. We have another product to show. Uh oh. Apparently. Yeah. Hilarious. Uh, this would be called um, the. <laughs> Uh, we have another product body to show, uh -oh. apparently. Like your uh, body shaper. This would be Euro oh, body Euro shaper. Body and we have the Christina Euro Johnson. body shaper. All right. Uh, hey. Like your no body shaper. Hello, Euro. Christina. Euro oh, body Euro shaper. Body. And we I'm have great, Christina Johnson. This is a whole right. body hey. vibration no exercise no slash massager machine. I'm great. How are you? This is a whole body vibration exercise slash massager machine. And, 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 and you're, the, you're the spokesperson for this. What can you tell us about? I am. This is a technology that was developed by the Soviet Union for astronauts going into outer Space. This is a what technology that was, was developed by the Soviet Union for astronauts for the fear that they were going to come back like Gumby. What they wanted to what do happen was, was able to create bone density okay. for the I'm, fear I'm that Gumby they were going to come fan. back Go like Gumby. No one can okay. live like that. What <laughs> happened was 30 years later. What's wrong with the Russia? Nothing. I'm a Gumby fan. The technology. No one can live like that. I thought it was wasting all their time still in our election. The technology. Oh, okay. I thought they were wasting all their time still in our election. I thought they were wasting all their time still in our election. Christina, sorry to hijack your explanation. But you were saying, I didn't want to come back from space like Gumby. Christina, sorry to hijack your explanation, but you were saying, you didn't want to come back from space like Gumby. Right, so anyway, so what happened was we found out there was a slew of benefits. Such as improving bone density, that was number one. Now we've got muscle building, now we've got benefits. Such as improving bone density, that was number one. This is the easiest way to strengthen bone density, now we've got muscle building. Now we've got improving bone density, now we've got muscle building. This is the easiest way to strengthen bone density, now we've got improving bone density, now we've got muscle building. This is the easiest way to strengthen bone density, now we've got improving bone density, now we've got muscle building. This is the easiest way to strengthen bone density, now we've got improving bone density, now we've got muscle building. This is the easiest way to strengthen bone density, now we've got improving bone density, now we've got muscle building. This is the easiest way to strengthen bone density, now we've got yeah, it'll hold Shaq. Shaq, Shaq are you 440 oh, pounds? All right, not even will it hold Shaq? It's not gonna hold Shaq. Yeah, it'll hold Shaq. All right. Shaq, are you 440 pounds? Not just even right. just about. It's not gonna hold close. Shaq. Well, that's right. when it breaks. Okay. Put your feet a little wider than hip width. All right, so you're gonna step on. Well, that's hold when on. it breaks. Okay. All right, this machine has two width. motors. It has an orbiting motor and an oscillator. Just Whatever's faster. All right, this machine has two motors. It has an orbiting motor and an oscillator. Just Whatever's faster. Just to give us the one that goes really fast. Oscillator. Oscillator. No, Whatever is faster. Just We're going to start down on the oscillator. This is oscillator right now. And it mimics walking, so it's going up and down. It's the same thing as the elliptical. So what is that thing doing? The os oh, this is oscillator right now. It mimics walking, so it's going up and down. It's the same thing as an elliptical. I'm going to give you a beat. Oh. So right now, Shaq's muscles are contracting 40 to 50 times a minute. Where he was right now, Shaq's muscles are contracting 40 to 50 times a minute. Remember, like when when no, I no, used to watch those motor. things. Ready? I don't know, okay. Ernie. Remember those things we used to watch, and people used to put the belt on and think they lose weight, and it shakes you. Oh, Chuck. Oh, Chuckster wants in on this. All right. Is he uh, is he too dense to get on here? Let's see. Okay, you ready? 
You want to go both motors? Yeah, okay. you do. So this hey, one is Christina, any questions, motor. direct them to us. Yes, he does. He yes. wants it on the fastest you go all speed. The way. Yeah. Okay. I tell you, it must be jam. <laughs> Jelly don't shake like that. <laughs> All right, okay. Hey, who's, who's Richter scale just Lean went off? Lean forward on it for your back. Uh, Get about here on your elbows. Yeah. So come yeah. a little closer. You, you like should it? have a nice vibration That's the laziest back. way to work out in the history of working out. That's all for me. Look at you. Hey, yeah. you want, what do you want? You want, hey. you want your phone? You want it? You want some cookies too? Hey, yeah, give you some cookies. hey underdog. Hey, Christina. There you go. How you much for that? Cookies. I'm Why sorry? You? How much hey. for that? This hey. machine yeah. retails at 4400 That's all. Uh, $4,400. Uh, a lot of people don't have $4,400. Chuck, while you, conti well, you continue to work out on the Euro Shaper, we need to hear from underdog inside oh the sauna. What you got, yeah. underdog? Well, I went to get changed, and You're somebody welcome. gave me a, a bracelet. Oh, look at this. I, I, I didn't get his name, but they asked me to give it to Chuck, so. Oh, here comes. Exactly. Underdog will do anything. Underdog in a bathtub, and yeah, here's a. look, I braced it for your last time. You get, there's, there's like a, a, that's the sauna gift. When you, every time you go on a sauna, you get a. You get a. You get a bracelet. So do you feel Why like you a new man? It? How do you feel? He's, he, you're exhausted. How Jack, are you sweating? How was it, Chad? <laughs> it was uh, vibratious. Vibratious. Yeah. Christina thank Johnson, you. thank you so much for being here. Go ahead, go ahead, Jet. Give it a shot. You don't need experience to turn me out. You just leave it all up to me. I'll show you what it's all. Yeah, that's what Shaq said. It's a twerk. Here in Las Vegas and CES, that's a twerk machine. You know how to twerk, honey? Uh, no. I'm trying to, but no, I don't. Oh, nice, hey, nice. Hey, you know, I got to give it out to Russia. I thought they spent all their time the rigging our election, ruining our country. Those boots, Chuck. Shakes to the left Thank and you. shakes to the right. <laughs> Chuck, twerk, twerk it all night. <laughs> twerk it all night, Chuck. Oh, we, uh, <laughs> we, imagine this, we're actually going to talk some basketball. Uh, yeah. Here on TNT NBA tip off presented by Auto Trader uh, because Area 21 is up and running. We've got uh, Cleveland and Toronto coming up. Raptors 28 and 11, the second best record in the East. Ooh. Cleveland 26 and 14, mm. third best record in the East. Uh, KG and, and, the, and the crew there, what do you make of the Toronto Raptors? What's up, Ernie? Hope y'all enjoying Vegas. Uh, man, the Raptors, for me, man, I need to see more playoff depth. I, I, you know, I like them during the regular season, uh, but Kyle Lowry, you know, when, when they go into the playoffs, he kind of disappears. I, I, need, I, need, I need them to go further. Well, I mean, what you guys think? I, I agree with you, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they have great regular season success, but when right. they get to the show, right. you know what I'm saying, that's when all the struggles come out. So, you know, I need to see some, you right. know, in that postseason as well. I love the Rosen, though. Yeah. I'll be real. I love the Rosen. You know, as a whole, I just don't think they have enough. Really? You know, to in compete. the East? Yeah, just right. overall, like late, mm. late, like when they get crunch time, right. playoff mm. time. You know, right. games right. five, six, seven go. Right. I don't think they have enough. But you will right. admit that you need your two best players to be yeah, on in playoff time. So, right. That's all I'm saying. Cal I, has to be more consistent. Right, in the right, playoffs. right. I, I like them, has but to be more right. I don't think their depth yeah. is what it needs to be at, though. But I would love to see what they do second. Um, Second half of the season. Um, Matt, you this, Rashad. Is uh, DeRozan the best Raptor of all time? The best Raptor of all time? I like DeRozan. He's a great player, right. but I got to say Vince Carter. Right. Vince Carter? Vince Carter changed the game when he went there. Vince yeah. Carter? I'm Vince Carter. And don't forget about Damon Stoddard. My, listen, man, hey. Vince Carter. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's Even Vince. Tracy McGrady who had a Matt. short stint there, but him and Vince Carter kind of changed everything in Toronto. Oh, man. Go ahead, Nah, I mean, Sajid Carter, man. You know, he's hey. my draft class. Right. And stuff that he was Bosch. doing was amazing. Chris Bosh career as a rapper. Right. I mean, Bosch, but yeah. I like to think that Vince Carter just changed the culture, man. Yeah. He, he, was, he changed the culture. He yeah, had us. Yeah, yeah. You think rappers, you think Vince. Right. And right. then, you know, think about when we start traveling up there just to be able to, you know, see the city and, and explore, you know, Toronto. So, listen, DeRozan, I put him two, three mm -hmm. behind, you know, obviously Chris Bosh, but yeah, Vince Carter is probably the best rapper to yes. come out of uh, Toronto, but that's my Which, no doubt, hands yeah. down. Unanimous decision right. up here. Right. <laughs> right. Well, yeah.
Back to you, EJ. All right, KG, thank you, guys. Uh, we'll check in again later in Area 21. I have to say it every oh. time we talk about Toronto. That is my favorite city in the world. Yeah. yeah. Right Shout on. out to my boy Rod Black up in Toronto. Oh, and by the way, Kenny Martin got a son. Just like you, Shaq got a son, and I got some, but Kenny Martin's son can play, too. You know what I always say about Kenny Martin. Oh, he's, one of, he's on the list. He's on the list. Yeah, yeah he's okay. on the list. If he says something about your mama, you make him repeat it. Because <laughs> you have to ignore it the first time. <laughs> so, you know, when somebody says something about your mama, you automatically got to fight. But Kenyon Martin, he's on the list. You have to make him repeat it. Is, Ken, have... is Kenyon still there? Is Kenyon still there <laughs> in Area yeah, 21? Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, come on, you guys. Uh, we were, ju we were uh, just on there with him. Or have they all they unhooked and gone to eat? Okay. Kenny uh, Martin's one of those guys, if you get in a fight, you hope it's at a basketball game, say, break it up quickly. <laughs> <laughs> You're wasting all this good stuff. And Kenyon, did you realize, you know, did you realize, Kmart, did you realize you were on the list, uh, on Chuck's list of guys not to mess with? Uh, yeah, I've heard a few times, man. Um, I think I earned it. <laughs> he just didn't put me on there. I think I, think I earned it. <laughs> Yeah. All right, thank you guys. Now, Cleveland and Toronto, this, this would be an unbelievable matchup. I mean, this would really be something that you'd look forward to. But Toronto's got two starters out. Kyle Lowry's not going to play, hurt his tailbone. Uh, Serge Ibaka suspended for this game for getting into it with James Johnson the other night. So what are we going to learn, Kenny, about these teams from this meeting with two starters out for Toronto? Well, I don't think we learn anything in a, in a, in a um, series. But I think this is just for the maturation of Cleveland. They, they're not looking at it as Toronto. They don't look at Denver. Whoever comes in, they, they have a mission to when April comes to be playing their best basketball because they have injuries. They have guys coming in and out. They have guys who, uh, you know, obviously Derrick Rose. We talk about uh, IT, Isaiah Thomas. So their whole thing is how do we look in April and how are we going to get there? So this all-star break stretch that is about to happen is big for them as well to get some continuity. So they're not paying attention to that now well, because they feel they're the best in the East regardless. Well, and I'm going to disagree a little bit with that because I think this is a big game for the Raptors. Even without the two starters? Even without the starters because at some point, if they could win this game, it'll be big for them, for their confidence. At some point, you talk to guys talking about it, nobody takes the Raptors serious. At some point, you're going to have to beat Cleveland and Boston or people going to say, most people don't even realize how good the Raptors are because they're like, it's Boston and it's Cleveland. But don't you have this built into this game now to say, yeah, they, yeah, Cleveland came up to our gym and beat us, but Kyle wasn't there, Serge wasn't uh, there. But, so. but, but it will help their younger players because um, one of the guys in the studio said they got to get more out of other guys. We, right. ca we ca it just can't be the Rosen and Lowry taking them. They got to get some, develop some depth on that bench. They, they need, because to beat the Cavaliers, you're going to have to be a depth, have, have great depth. Ernie, Ke uh, uh, Kevin, <clears throat> excuse me, Kevin mentioned it earlier. The reason why nobody takes the Raptors seriously is because in the playoffs, you know, uh, you know, as far as getting further, Larry disappears. I have to, you know, add on to what Kenny's saying. When you're a veteran team, you worry about home, some type of home court advantage, one through four. But Cleveland's not really worried about this game tonight. Can they win it? Yes. <clears throat> the only reason why Cleveland lost 14 games is because they started off slow. But, Kenny, I agree with you. They're not worried about Boston. They're definitely not worried about Toronto. But Toronto has to take that next step for us to give them respect. And, and, yeah, and Raptors. This is, and this is one of those games that you have to say to yourself, we got to show these guys we can beat them. They don't, you're right. They don't take them serious. So but it's saying even without the two guys, it, 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 if it, they it, come close or beat them, they go, see, it, it, it'll help we're right here. No, it'll we're help, right here. It'll help a, their confidence. From a, com from a confidence standpoint. I got you. They're 14 and 2 at home, are the Raptors. The fewest home games in the NBA so far. 14 and 2, Washington beat them, Miami beat them, yet a 28 and 11 record, second best. And we're not talking in the about Eastern Conference. Miami's playing great too. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, most people I've been watching them the last 2 weeks or so. Very underrated, but Miami is playing fantastic. Great job, Eric Spoelstra. Yeah, they have uh, won six in a row. That's number four in the uh, Eastern Conference. <laughs> that looked familiar, Shaq. It certainly did. <laughs> That's funny. Whatever. Hey, hey. Do you feel like Shaq a new man, back. Shaq? Shaq got back. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, get Shaq it. Got get back. it. Shaq get got it. back. Get it. Get it. Shaq got back. <laughs> Shaq got back. Shaq got back. We'll take another break here in Vegas. Oh.
Come back to the Venetian Ooh. in just a second. Hey, go ahead. Go ahead. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. You got started up. Hey. Mr. Baba the Money Man over me. Ah, I said. Da 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 da. It's Chuck Shack and Ernie and Kenny. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Now. Da 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 da. Mr. Baba the Money Man over me. We can't. Why don't you try it? Shout out to Snoop. He's about to freestyle. Da 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 da. He's freestyling. Freestyling. Come on, Shaq. All right. Da 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 da. You're rocking with the best. 2018 CES. Hey. Da, 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 da. Chuck, Kenny and Shaq. We don't need no commercials. We'll be right back. Da, 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 da. Chuck need the treadmill. Look at the last thing. You're going to gamble later. Later. Shout out to the Florida Gators. Hey. Da, 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 da. And the Crimson Tide. Tide. You thought you was going to win. I told you you lied. Da, 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 da. Yo, what's up by six? You were celebrating. I told you not to do this. Shout to Thomas. I tell no lie. Nick Saban, please tell them why they underestimated you. You shouldn't have did that. We the champs. Back to back. Like Kobe and Shaq oh. with the Lakers. Woo. All you other teams. You're all the fakers. Fakers. We love CES. Mark, you're the best. Da, 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 da. I like the girls you're dancing with. Yes. Come give Chuck a kiss. Da, 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 da. Easy. That's easy. Wow. That's that was, easy. That was yeah. impressive. Hey, great job on the beats, fellas. Uh, hey, sorry. By the way, but yeah, I'm, I can tell. Um, Shaq has some very exciting news to share with the crew here tonight, and he's wow. been keeping it a secret from all of us until this very moment wow. right now. Nervous. Oh, you want me to tell you right now? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd rather show now, you. Now it's a shack you. to intro video. Yes, I'd rather show you, and then we'll talk about it. Okay. Show we at video. Carnival take our mission to be America's most fun vacation very seriously. So I'm making changes at the top. And now I'll introduce you to our CFO. Duck. Duck. Goose. Mr. O'Neill is perfect for the job. His unparalleled passion and unique business acumen are a tremendous asset. I need those numbers by 5 o'clock today. Just hit me on the email, shack at carnival.com, and four tickets will be delivered to your house first thing in the morning. Who is this? Have you not heard? No. About what? CFO. Oh, really? Want to know what else? Tag, you're it. Oh. Run! <laughs> she was fun, baby. <laughs> So my good friend, Mickey Harrison, and the uh, president, Christine Duffy, named me CFO of Carnival Cruise Lines. So. Yeah, really. Like what? CFO. What does CFO yeah, what, stand what for? What does CFO mean? Not the one we It's another surprise. Oh, CFO. First of all, nobody's trusting you with numbers. <laughs> First of all, I'm all about numbers. Yeah. yeah. We're just going to have a lot well, of fun. Yeah. And, and, and you know what? You're the black Hold Bernie on. Madoff. Listen. That was a good one. And listen, as a new CFO, I'm giving you guys two free cruises anytime you like. Oh, oh yeah. sure. Yes, on that boat. On that one right guy. there. No, <laughs> sign me up. Two free uh, cruises. <laughs> we're, we're taking I a break. Me, shout out to Mickey Harrison and Christine Duffy Vegas. for making me go. CFO of Carnival Cruise Lines. Yeah, yeah okay. Well, well, well deserved. Well, that's well deserved. We don't. He's Fun. the chief fun officer. Get it? Live from CES in Las Vegas, presented by Auto Trader. Shop all the cars, all in one place. Auto Trader All Star Drive. Uh, Kenny with a three point lead over me and Shaq. Are you, you playing? Are you playing the game, Chuck? Y'all, y'all, the play I picked the first week did not play. You well, do that's your a research. bad pick. Y'all don't. You gotta do your research, I Chuck. Come on now. It was a game time decision. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised well, you didn't Y'all still should have gave me tonight. a chance to try. No, I don't think so. Did you pick uh, a Baca tonight? <laughs> He's not playing. <laughs> Kyle Lowry would be a good pick tonight. Um, what are you saying to me? Uh, okay, we've got. Uh, Ernie, I'm only three points DNA. behind you. Yeah, we've got the. You know, Kenny's got the lead. We've got the DNA testing. Okay. Learning ability. Subject is a probable game show host. Learning ability. Gifted. Language ability. Gifted. What is this? 
Shaq. Strong music skills, but possibly illiterate. <laughs> That's me. At least uh, you got a you got a little chuckle out of it. Subject has very weak knees. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Negative. Weight. Sample tainted by presence of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, it was uh, tequila last night. Well, well, I drink. Drink. Typically, yeah. My neighborhood, you don't do DNA tests. <laughs> we've got uh, we got basketball coming up here moments from now on TNT. Toronto and Cleveland. Meantime, Mark and the Martinis to play us out here at CES. <laughs> Man, you got it, baby. What? Hey, hey, okay. Cool. Naruto, nine tail, far so far. I feel like a Gucci ad lib. Burr, go to the Coca Cola mascot, Polo Burr. Put my salsa lasagna, it can make Garfield burn.